Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with my Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie, and I want to show you how to rewind your games. Now this will work with any emulator that uses RetroArch, and there's a lot of them that use RetroArch. First thing we're going to do is start a Super Nintendo game. With the recent announcement of the rewind function built into the SNES Mini, I've had a lot of my viewers ask me if this is possible. Yes, it's very possible within RetroPie. First thing we need to do is get into the RetroArch menu. Now, when I call these keys out here, I don't mean the physically marked key on your controller. I mean, whatever key you use to set up in RetroPie. So if I say A, I mean, press A on your controller, the same button that you set up as A in the input configuration, because it may be different. I'm gonna hold my hot key and I'm gonna press X. Now, if you don't have the newest version of RetroPie, you'll have to hold select and X on your controller to get into this menu. This is really easy to do. We're in the RetroArch main menu. We're going to scroll down to settings and we're going to press A on our controller. Scroll down to input. We're going to scroll to input hotkey binds. And we'll find rewind. So I'm going to press A on my controller and I'm going to press my L2 button. Now my L2 is set as rewind. We're going to back out. Back out one more time. We need to go to frame throttle. At the very top, it says rewind, press A. And you wanna make sure this is on. Make sure it's on, press B to back up. We're gonna go back to the main menu here. Go to configurations, save current configuration. Now you can exit the RetroArch menu by pressing your hotkey and X, or we can just go to quick menu and resume. So I'm gonna walk forward a bit. Now I'm gonna hold my hotkey and the button I just set up as my rewind button. There we go. So I'll go and get beat up a little bit. Let them beat me up. Oh no, I didn't wanna get hit just yet. So I'm gonna hold my hotkey and my rewind button. It's gonna rewind. We can go all the way back to the beginning. In order for this to work in most of the systems, you'll have to set it up manually, just like I did in the SNES emulator. If you want it to work in NES, you'll have to launch an NES game, set it up just like we did. But this is an awesome addition to your RetroPie build. A lot of people have been asking about it lately, and that's how you do it. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.